If you haven't heard of Concrete Canoe Games Float Series, it is a series of delightful hookbox games that are slowly being released in waves to Kickstarter. Each wave contains three games, and today we're going to take a look at wave two of Concrete Canoe Games Float Series, Istanbul or Constantinople, Sengoku, The Warring States, and Ludus Senatus. The first game we're taking a look at in wave two of Concrete Canoe Games Float Series is Istanbul or Constantinople. Designed by Cecilia and Eric Highland, in this one to four player game, players are arguing about, well, whether the city is named Istanbul or Constantinople. On players' turns, they will be performing actions to influence the city, so the values of the cards in the streets, when added together, will equal the target value needed to influence the people. 15 points for the middle street. 10 points for the next two streets, and five points for the outermost streets. Players will be able to replace cards in the streets with cards in their hands, swap cards between streets and rotate them, or flip cards in the streets, all in efforts to hit the target value of the street. If a player does hit the target, they earn points equal to the highest positive valued card in the street and clear it out for the round. If a player earns 20 points, they win. If not, the game continues onward until one street remains. When this happens, players take two more turns each, only able to replace cards in the street, working now towards any of the three values, five, 10, or 15. After the two rounds, if the street didn't score, the game will end regardless, and the player with the most points at the time is the winner. That was Istanbul or Constantinople. The next game we're going to take a look at in Wave 2 of the Float series is Sengoku, The Warring States, designed by Michael Kofer. In Sengoku, The Warring States, players are in control of three villages and have six troops at their disposal to either defend their villages or attack the opposing villages. In one of the three villages hides your shogun. If your shogun is found and killed, you lose the game immediately. Defeat your opponent's shogun or destroy two of their villages and you win the game. Each round, players place two of their own troops on their villages to defend them from attacks. Then players will choose to place attackers on their opponent's village. If an attacker is placed on a defending village, the cards are flipped and revealed. If not, the cards will remain hidden for now. Once three attackers have been placed, players place their final defending troop. Then all cards are revealed. Players will compare attackers to defenders at the same village locations, keeping in mind any special abilities that some of the troops may have. If an attacker is stronger than the opposing defender, that village is flipped. If already flipped, it becomes destroyed. If there are multiple attackers and defenders on a village, the defender chooses which defenders will fight against which attackers. If two of a player's villages are destroyed, the attacking player is the winner. Likewise, if the Shogun was hiding in the village and the village is destroyed, the attacking player will win. That's how you play Sengoku the Warring States. The final game for Wave 2 of Concrete Canoe Games Float series is Ludus Sinatus, designed by Brian Compter. Let's go take a look at this 2-4 player game. In Ludus Sinatus, you are attempting to appear as the most successful senator by somehow always voting in favor with the rest of the Senate. Each player will have their own tableau of hidden votes and will be working to have the majority of their votes match the majority of the votes on the Senate floor by either placing cards from their tableau to the Senate floor or by flipping cards in their tableau face up to use card abilities. Different card abilities will allow you to peek at face down cards in any tableau, flip any card face up or face down, or swap cards between two tableaus. When the seventh card is played to the Senate floor or fifth card in a four player game, the round end is triggered. All other players may take a final action to use a card's ability. When the round ends, all face down cards are revealed. Any player who has the majority of their votes match the majority of the votes in the Senate floor wins one approval point. If only one player successfully matched the majority of their votes, they gain an additional approval point for a total of two. Reach five points or more and you win the game. And that's how you play Ludus Sinatus. And there you have it folks, the three games coming in wave two of Concrete Canoe Games Float series. I thoroughly enjoyed each of these three games. They all offer different game mechanics, they only play in 20 minutes, and they're all perfectly transportable. The full float series is going to fit inside of a stout box, and I'm very excited to have the full collection together and complete. 
If you want to learn more about Wave 2 or just the float series in general, be sure to check out the Kickstarter down below. Thanks for watching and learning about Wave 2 of Concrete Canoe Games Float Series. I'm Cassie, and I'll see you next time.